Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 27th, 2020. So today we have Brown, Establish Boundaries, the number is 12. What we're getting at here, you see that new plant that's just starting to come on up? You need to learn to say no, not just when someone's trying to take advantage of your energy, but saying no to a way of thinking. Saying no to what is expected of you as in your responses to things. I think I used this example one time in one of my videos, but um, I remember I worked in this place where everyone just sort of defined me as Michelle's the sassy one. Michelle will tell people off. And that's not even true. That's not even true. I'm just very honest. And I don't play into these dynamics that people try to set up. And when you're honest, people are very sensitive to that. And so I remember there was a coworker, she came up to me and she was like, I'm surprised you didn't go acting like da 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 da. And I'm like, why do you think, because the way she made it sound, it made me sound like I was unreasonable. And like, I just fly off the handle, which is not me. And I just looked at her and she goes, well, you're somebody who tells it like it is. And she had this whole idea behind what that meant. This was a way that I set a boundary and I said, no, that's not me. Yes, it is. That's totally you. No, that's not me. And she started laughing at me and saying, you don't even understand yourself. Now th this is, there are people out there with broken wiring. Okay. And they can become very toxic people because a lot of times they choose not to work on themselves. You know, what kind of label we tend to put on people like that. And I think that's what I was dealing with in this situation. But even though when I set that boundary, that boundary didn't stick with the other person, it stuck in my energy. And in a way I said, you're not going to define me like that, <laughs> right? So that's what we're talking about. That's as, uh, that's as big a boundary setting thing and it's just as important as saying, no, I'm not taking on that extra project. No, I'm not tolerating somebody who's using this tragedy that's been going on as a cash grab. I'm saying no to all that. I'm not giving in, all right? So where do you need to set those boundaries so that you can let something new grow? Because when you, especially if you're setting a boundary with the way someone defines you, this lifts a lot of limitations. A lot of those things that always made you think, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, because other people say I can't. Because other people say, I'm not smart enough. You're not pretty enough. I used to study opera and I had my voice teacher actually tell me, you're just going to have to accept that you're just not pretty enough to be the lead and you're not good enough. The best you can do is maybe voiceovers or do some Disney character voice or something like that. And she said it in such a diminishing way, <laughs> even for that. So we don't have to hang on to those things. Let that go. Discover what how do I want to say this? Like, not just your happiness, but what your soul wants you to learn, right? What direction does your soul want you to go in? It doesn't have to, uh, it doesn't have to have anything to do with someone else's opinion of you, if that makes sense. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.